welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany, and today I have a lot of things to talk about. So I wanted to start off with these two guys here, and I got these from Speckled Fawn. I know many of you have heard of her shop. I'm sorry, it's Speckled Fawns. She was having a sale about a few, probably almost a month ago. And so I took advantage. Everything was like 40% off, I believe, if I wasn't mistaken. So for those of you who did catch that um, deal and sale, lucky you and lucky me because it was very good prices. And I realized that a lot of her stuff actually sold out. So first I got, it is called the Classic Caramel Macchiato in the Field Note size. And then I got the Classic Snickerdoodle in a standard size. Now, these two leathers are very different. Other than the colors being brown, um... The field note size in the caramel macchiato, oh my gosh, it is like so smooth on the outside. You can kind of see a little bit of the character. Um, it doesn't scratch that easily. And the inside is just as smooth. It almost reminds me of a Traveler's Notebook Company um, notebook. The leather dust is very pliable and um, this came with four strands it is a classic so there was no additional features I could really add to it because of the sale um, but again I don't typically like to add a lot to my notebooks I'm usually like a plain Jane in most cases um, so I know I can just add my sticker pockets to here um, and yeah, so this was came with the brown straps. And I just love, oh my gosh, how soft it is. See how you can just roll it up? It's so soft. And it smells really good. It smells really good. So this is the pocket caramel macchiato. If any of you were wondering what the um, caramel macchiato and the speckled fawn looked like and felt like. Um, as for comparison to the thickness of the leather... It's almost similar. It's actually very identical to the thickness of Rowena, the Sojourner leather. The thickness is very identical. I hope you can see that. So, yes, that is the Field Notes Caramel Macchiato. And then I got the classic in the, uh, the classic Snickerdoodle um, in the standard size. Now this one smells delicious. I could smell this one more than I can smell this smaller one. Um, you can see that the color is not as rich as this color, but it's almost like a, reminds me of a Roadrunner, kind of a little bit lighter than the Roadrunner. Um, you can, this one marks up a lot easier than this leather. And the only downside to this is that the leather is so thick. I hold this thing and I feel like it's, it's pliable. It moves not as much as this one, but that's because it's so thick. And I personally realized that I don't really like super thick notebooks. I re realized that. So this guy, I am not sure how... I like it so far like first impression I'm really not happy with it just because I didn't realize that the leather was so thick um, so I might actually end up selling this one if any of you are interested in purchasing this guy please um, send me a message or a comment down below and uh, we can work something out but yeah, I'm not I'm not really feeling this one. It is uh the standard size. So let me compare it to a standard 
Ravina Sojourner. It's actually a little bit wider than the standard size. So that's pretty interesting actually. You could probably fit more books in here. It does have four strands and no pockets, um, no stitching because it's a classic and um, brown straps. So yeah, if any of you guys are interested in purchasing this one, um, please leave me a comment down below and we can probably work something out. It is a very beautiful leather though. Okay, moving on. The next things next are these two. And I wanna say that these two are pretty much my everyday carry. This one has been my everyday carry since I purchased it. Um, I believe I have a video up on my channel of this leather from Sojourner uh, or Retrochers on Instagram. And then I did an unboxing of my Chic Sparrow. And I just love the Lemon Drop um, Mr. Darcy leather. And this one I have been using as my journal slash um, idea book. Not much has changed, but I do have some idea books in here. This is a Midori book in the B6 Slim. A B6 Slim. Um, actually, I cut this. Did I? Yes, I cut this down to size. This is a B6. This was actually a standard um, folder and craft folder. And I cut it down to the B6 size. This is my journal. And then just some more. Um, another book for notes so that's how I'm using this one and I'm using it with my one of my newest fountain pens which is the Pilot Pereira which I got from jetpens.com and for those of you who like fine nib fountain pens that aren't super expensive but still good writing pen and lightweight and small this is a good option and I love it because it just writes so smooth. It's like butter. Butter and paper, I guess. But I love it. They have multiple colors too. So that is my journal everyday carry. <laughs> this one is what I'm calling my business everyday carry. And by business, I mean I'm actually referring to my new Etsy shop I actually just opened today. And I'll get more into that a little, in a second. Um, but as for this setup, I'm using the Faber-Castell fountain pen in the medium nib. Um, and I love this because this pen because I thought that the thumbprint on the pen here is actually pretty cool. Let me zoom in. And then they also come with different colors as well in these pens. But I got it from a, for a really good price off of gouletpens.com. So back to this notebook. I put in a Target dollar spot adhesive pocket, and this is housing all of my homemade stickers, which I think I've talked to you about in the last video, and some of my new stickers I got from a pen pal. So I just keep those in here, and if I can get it back in, yes. And then I got the new Chic Sparrow dashboards. And I just made it very simple looking. I didn't get too fancy with this because I'm calling it a business like notebook. So I made these stickers here, business plan, 
I'm using the Idea B6 Slim Notebook, which you can get off of Amazon. And then this is just the back side of the dashboard and the vellum I actually got from Michaels. Then I have the Field Notes larger size notebook here and I'm using this. You can't really see it because I was running out of ink, but this is a sticker. It says Sketchbook Ideas. Um, this is another sticker I got from Chic Sparrow when I purchased this notebook. <clears throat> And here is just where I plan on using um, this for my sketching for my Etsy shop. And then next I have my notes insert. I don't know if you can really see that these are some of my clear stickers which I put on this notebook just to test them out and realize that I need to change up my paper. But these are just notes on things that I need to buy. I haven't really... Um, dug too much into the notebooks itself. I really just kind of set it up not too long ago. And then last, I have another dashboard. Um, these are just postcards. And I'm using another idea book for YouTube ideas and music. And then the back side of my dashboard. So that's pretty much what I'm using this beautiful guy for and it has already kind of patinaed in the past week or so that I've owned it so that's exciting and that's that now on to the best news which is my Etsy shop my Etsy shop I just opened it is currently a digital download um, printable shop right now and I have recently been very interested in using my iPad Pro again trying to make my own stickers for base, mainly travelers notebooks I currently have posted uh, three listings so far of course I will have more than that um, to come but right now I only have three listings so I'm going to show you what those look like. So this is the first listing. Again it's just a digital download. Each of my listings so far are ranging from three to four fifty um, in US dollars and you can print these out, print them out. This is actually printed out on sticker paper so you can take this and then stick it on something um, if that's what you choose to do. You can use the download and modify it and make smaller stickers or smaller ephemera pieces to go in your notebook for journaling. So again, you can use this for just about any project. You can digitize it and send it off to be created on a canvas or just keep them small and put them in your journaling. My next listing is for the holidays and I just love this one with the poinsettias and actually I plan to use this, trim it down a little bit and use it as a dashboard cover and then last I have this one which I love as well I just like all the detail and the pops of color in the flowers so that is just a little promotion of myself I guess with my new shop I will put a link down in the comments or the description box below and I want to thank you guys for watching I hope you guys continue to support me I really do appreciate you guys and for all the lovely comments I get on my videos. For those of you who have not subscribed, please do so so that you can continue and uh, we can go on this journey together. Alright, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!